So welcome back to the Corsair booth. I am joined by Ethan from Tag Mods and we're going to check out this little custom build called Project Parvis. And it's got a Corsair fan, a Corsair radiator. No, it's not even a Corsair radiator. This is how we roll, man. This is how we rock. This is how we win. This is how we roll, man. This is how we rock. This is how we win. This is how we roll, man. Welcome to 2018 PAX Australia. I am at the Corsair booth. They have a new keyboard. We'll take a look at that later. They've got two variants of it, but we're here with Project Parvis. This is Ethan from Tag Mods. He's going to be doing the SR2 build, the legendary SR2 yeah. build, after PAX is finished. So That's the idea, man. Uh, what we got here is tell us straight away what makes this build so special. Okay, so this is Project Parvis. Uh, it's my shot at the world record attempt for the smallest water-cooled PC with stock hardware. So Guinness are checking it out soon. Uh, it's currently 6.8 litres in volume, about a litre and a half shorter than the current record. So it should be good. It's wrapping a 2700X, 1080 Ti, uh, 32 gig of Corsair Vengeance RAM, the SF600 power supply from Corsair as well, and you got the LL fan on the front. So LL120, Vengeance uh, DDR4 memory, 32 yep. gigabytes of that, dual channel. So we've got the orange, black and silver theme going on here with Project Parvis. Let us know in the comment section below what you think of this little small form factor build. And also let us know if you're hyped to see Ethan's skills in the SR2 build. Yeah, it should be good. They know the theme, don't they? Darth Jar Jar. Yeah, so here we are with the build itself. It's got a GTX 1080 Ti. Yep. 2700X, 8 core, 16 threaded CPU in such a small form factor, weighs in like 10 kilograms. I recently got the Intel NUC, but I could only imagine traveling around with this thing. Oh, it's pretty manageable still, like it's pretty easy to get around, it's pretty sturdy as well. So make sure it's all reinforced, so you should be able, the idea is to be able to use it as a land box and just kind of take it anywhere and everywhere. So the bottom line is though, with this, do you have competitors as well that are coming in now and trying to take your thunder? Uh, not that I know of. Like, the current record is from like 2011. So I kind of saw it and went, I reckon I can beat that. But there we go, guys. I hope Ethan can beat this thing as well. And uh, let's move on now to some uh, beating of some of these keyboards and see what they've got. Thanks for your time, brother. But what about new products coming out in 2018 from Corsair? Well, on the showroom floor, they had the K70 Mark II Low Profile. These feature low profile Cherry MX switches, both in the red and the silver form. Now the low profile switches already have the benefit of having a higher actuation point than their original standard edition brothers. And so what this means, you'll get a faster response time if you're a gamer. However, at that note, typos may be a little bit easier. So be careful with these key switches. But when we're talking about this silver itself, low profile, this technically has the highest actuation point possible. In other words, the fastest response time. So in other words, it eliminates the most input lag from the user through to the hardware, all other hardware being considered equal. So this is definitely one to jump on if you want to up your game just ever so slightly, but you're already competitive and you're already pretty much at the top. Now in terms of pricing, you expect this keyboard to come in around 169 US dollars if you're in Australia, 279 AUD. So it does come in with a premium asking price. However, at these prices, you can expect a high build quality, individual backlit RGB keys, as well as support for the IQ software, media keys on the top right of the keyboard, as well as hardware controlled backlighting too. Here we are guys, we're finishing up at the Corsair booth for 2018. New keyboards are all the rage. And of course, Project Parvis. And of course, on top of that, with a double or triple, of course, the deals here are there. If you're at the event, make sure you come in and cop some of these peripherals. Uh, I don't know about this hoodie. Uh, I just snaked it, and I'm going to go get on out of here now before someone notices. And also let us know what you think about the new low-profile K70 Mark II keyboards in silver and Cherry MX Red. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Walk in the spot and I drop one track, know who the best, know who the best is. Walk in the rave, like check this. Got one more for the set list.